YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, the Redskins are making yet another signing. And yet again, not another, not a big splash, but it's something, you know, to build depth. That's what it seems like I say in every video that Ron Rivera is trying to do. He wants to attack our starters. He wants to get our starters from the draft and next year's free agency or the trade deadline when the season starts. And he, as of right now, he wants to get depth at every position. Which I like this. I like like I like doing this because you know every year the Washington Redskins struggle with having star players at certain positions, and when they go down, they don't have no one to fill in for them. So I like when he is addressing every position to have depth. Um. Oh yeah. Look at the you know got the turf shirt on. The year we finally you know break the curse of not getting past the Sweet 16. You know the year that it was looking like we were going to you know make it to the Elite Eight or the Final Four. They cancel it, and this, you know, pandemic is going on. So hopefully next year, man, we can, you know, do the same thing. I don't think Ant Cowan's going to be here no more, though. So we're going to see. But back on topic, the Washington Redskins have signed a guard from the Arizona Cardinals. His name is Jeremy Vanovich. I don't know if I said his last name right. I'm pretty sure I butchered it. But Jeremy Vermanovich, in 2017, he played all 16 games, and he's trying to bounce back from a severe hamstring injury. So it's very it's a very good move for depth. He can he plays the guard position. So you know we need we need a lot of depth there, considering the fact that Brandon Sheriff is coming off of a season ending injury. See, and he had surgery this off season or you know this when he was you know injured for the rest of the season. So we need position we need depth at all positions, man. So like you know I like this move a lot because you know he's a big dude and he 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 he's, he 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 plays. All 16 games, you know, I'm sorry I'm stuttering, but, you know, happens. 16 games, all every time he steps on the field. And um, I like this move a lot. You know, it's another depth piece. Like I said, I don't see him being a starter on this team because of uh, our guard position and Brandon Sheriff and our left guard. We don't know what we're going to do there, but he could probably plug in there if we don't make some noise in the draft by drafting a uh, left guard. But, um... Other than that, I see him being a depth piece. That if that's if he makes the team, you know, I think Ron is bringing in a lot of bodies to make our starters that are going to be starting to make them work. He doesn't want to hand them the job. You know what I mean? So, um, well, I want to go over some tweets that Ron Rivera made. He said, um, he would the, the host asked him a question and said. Um, he says, so can you give me some cap or some tip cap on where you're going to draft in the second round? What are you going to do in the draft? And he says, and I quote, um, we're going to be selecting a good player. So there you go. We're getting Chase Young. We're not trading back because if we trade back, if we traded back, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have said we were taking a good player at number two. So we're getting Chase Young, all the trade back rumors, the Jeff Akutas, the, um, Isaiah Simmons crew, um, that's dead. He also asked the question was, are you confident in Dwayne Haskins? And are you are you going into training camp and mini camp, all the other camps? Are you going into them that knowing that Dwayne Haskins is your starter? Or are you going to give the other guys a shot? And he says, that's what we're going into camp is. We're going into camp as Dwayne Haskins has been the starter, but he's going to compete. So this is what I like about Ron Rivera, man. He doesn't just hand out jobs. He knows who he wants to start. But he doesn't want to just hand him out a job and say, you're you're starting. He wants them to work for the job and earn it so they can feel good about, you know, putting you there and have trust in you and not just putting you there just because of your name. So, for an example, Darius Geis, he, you know how talented he is, you know how good he is when he can stay on the field. But he brought in another couple guys like getting J.D. McKissick and Peyton Barber to, you know, commit, give him, bring the best out in him. You know what I mean? Make him work for the job. Don't just hand it to him because of his name and just because he was here last year. Make him work for it. So this is what I like about Ron Rivera. Um, he's not just going to give, you know, Brandon Sheriff the, the position. That's probably why he brought in this guard. And then on top of that, if he is... He, um, this is just a good depth piece. I think that everyone that's going to start is going to deserve to start and is going to start. He just wants to bring in a bunch of new faces to have depth and or make someone that's going to compete and make them, you know, run, give them a run for their money for that that specific position. So this is a good move, man. I really like it. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's okay. You know, it's not, it's not a big splash, but it's something, you know what I mean? It's something to get the horns rolling. Um, so without further ado, it's me and boy one guy like comment subscribe to the Redskins. Um, welcome Jeremy V to the team. You know what I mean? How do you feel about this move? Do you like it? Do you disagree with me? Um, let's let's just talk.
Jeremy V, welcome to the team. He's a big dude, and he played for Arizona, and he's a very reliable person other than, you know, last year when he had a hamstring injury. Other than that, when he is on the field and healthy, he plays all 16 games. When is the last time we had someone like that playing 16 games? Morgan Moses is probably one of them, but last year he dealt with a bunch of injuries too. I'm talking specifically just for the offensive line too. So when is the last time we really had someone to play 16 games? So without further ado, it's me, boy, one guy. Do you like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. We signed Jeremy V. Welcome to D.C. How do you feel about this move? Let me know what you got to think down below as always. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins. Peace.